contract. Here's how they change the FOV in Gears of War Reloaded. First thing you want to do is download Notepad++. I'll leave a link in the description. Go to download, download the latest version, click the big green download button. Then open it up, click yes, then OK, next, I agree, next, next, install. You click finish, and you close out of it. Then you want to go to your PC, local disk C, then you want to go to Xbox game, Gears of War Reloaded, content, war game, config, Windows GDK, cooked, and then there's going to be a file called coalesce. What you want to do is edit with Notepad++. And then hit Control F, and I'll leave this in the description as well. You want to go where it says Warfare Game dot War Camera Mode underscore default. That is going to be your normal FOV. So when you are just walking around, you can change it all the way up to 99. But anything past that will crash the game. You can change your targeting as well, which is going to be when you aim in your gun. You want to have it at least in the range of 10 below whatever FOV that you had before. If you have 90, you want to put it at 80. Then when you're done editing, all you want to do is hit file and then save. And that's all you have to do. You're done editing your FOV. Once you load up the game and you get into another multiplayer match, your new FOV will take place. Like I said, once again, above 99 will crash your game, so do not do that. To skip the intro movies, as soon as you start up the game, go into the same war game file, except this time go into movies. Control F, type in epic. Epic logo.bik will show up. All you have to do is right click it, rename, and put dash skip right beside epic logo. Don't delete the file, just do that. And now once you're done, go back, control F one more time, then do MGS. You'll see MGS logo. Do the same exact thing. Right click, rename, dash skip, done. Then one last thing, scroll all the way to the bottom. You should see four files, splash screen, startup, the coalition logo, and UE3 animated logo. Do the same as previously and just put rename them dash skip for all of these then as soon as you start up the game you should have no intro movies and you go straight to the main menu